right, everybody wants to know who's going to be the quarterback for Ohio State, but the fact of the matter is if it's Cardell Jones or JT Barrett, Ohio State will be just fine. They are stacked all over the place. They've got some of the best players in the country. Not only do they bring their most talented players back, they also bring a lot of their leaders back. Again, a quarterback and offensive line over on the defensive side, guys like Joey Bosa. So you add that with the best coach in the country, and it, I think it's fair to say that no team over the past 30 years has been better positioned to repeat than Ohio State is this year. Most people have TCU ahead of Baylor. I think TCU has the advantage of having its quarterback returning. Trevon Boykin, who was fifth in the Heisman Trophy voting last year and is considered sort of the preseason front runner for the Heisman this year. They're both stacked. Um, Baylor is really good along each line. Their defensive line may be one of the best in the country with Sean Oakman, the six foot nine defensive end. The Horn Frogs and Bears play again the night after Thanksgiving. Uh, it'll be the biggest game in the Big 12, most likely, and it very well could determine who wins the Big 12 championship again this year. Here's the one thing, though. The SEC will always get the benefit of the doubt because I think it still is the best conference. And as for Alabama going a couple of years without winning a national championship, well, they still have the most talent. Alabama always recruits better than everybody else in the country. Uh, whether there's enough there for them to win a national championship this year depends on how well the quarterback plays. Does Michigan State have enough to get over the hump this year against Ohio State? Well, they've got one of the best quarterbacks in the country in Connor Cook. They've got a, a defense that is usually feisty um, and one of the best defensive lines in the country. We'll see if it's enough to beat the Buckeyes in Columbus. Maybe the most interesting player in the country is Oregon quarterback Vernon Adams. And he's, a, he's an interesting player and he is a fun player to watch. He seems to fit perfectly into that Oregon offense. If he is as good at the FBS level as he was at the FCS level, Oregon can contend for a championship again. I'm one of the people on the Notre Dame bandwagon. I picked them for the playoff I, and Sports Illustrated picked them for the playoff. Um, it is without question Brian Kelly's most talented team. He's got number one draft pick type talent at several positions. Maybe the best left tackle in the country in Ronnie Stanley. Maybe the best linebacker in the country in Jalen Smith. Um, they have a new quarterback in Malik Zaire who showed great flashes at the end of last year in the bowl game. He could be a top level guy. No doubt the most fascinating coach in the country is Jim Harbaugh. He, he's, a, he's a quirky guy. Um, but he is also a great coach. The fact of the matter is he, he turned Stanford from a program that was at rock bottom into a program that could play in a Rose Bowl. You know, he went to the NFL and immediately turned the, the 49ers into a Super Bowl contender. I have no doubt he will make Michigan good again. How quickly he does that, I think, remains to be seen. You know, they, uh, the Wolverines only won five games last year. There's talent on that team. There's enough talent there that they could probably win six, seven, maybe even eight games this year.